Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yeah, it's your boy Marvelous Jobs. Make sure y'all check out my interview on Boss Talk 101 with ECO, Miss Jamaica, and Money Moses. If you if, if you've been on uh, YouTube, you definitely can't miss this guy, man. He's a, a, a known figure now for me uh, and for a lot of people, according to the views that he get. My guy, Marvelous Jarvis, is in the building. What's going on, my hey, brother? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Now, see, my brother, he's a uh, he's ten years older than me, so he raised me kind of like you know, okay. like okay. that. So he the one put me in boxing. So this is going back to the question, like who mm. followed. So br pretty much my brother, he um put me in boxing. He How bought old were you when you started boxing? I think I was like fourteen. I was younger than that, but like when I started, like so when Taking I signed up, when I signed okay. up for an actual gym, I okay. was like fifteen, you know, fourteen, fifteen. Mm -hmm. But I was fighting on the streets. You know, and, were and, you any good? Yeah, I was did you pretty, did you win all the fights? I, I won all the fights up, and he had to get kids that was way older than me in order for me to beat me. Let me ask you this: uh, you, being that you spar with uh, uh, Earl uh, Earl Spence, Earl how Spence did that happen? Earl Spence Jr. How did you end up doing that? Oh, what, what, man. I mean, how many times you got whooped over there trying to get in the <laughs> ring? Like a that? lot of times. <laughs> A lot of time. I got my good days too, though. Like, I already you, know you hey, can't tell Lowe's because hey, he's a champion. You yeah, can't even talk about that. If you that. asked him, he ain't going to say, oh, he'll push over none of that. He's going to say, yeah, dude can fight. Like, wow. that, that dude can fight. But this is the thing. We've been fighting each other all our lives. Like, yeah. like he's been a rival of mine since we was kids. The rivalry broke by the time he went to the Olympics then because I quit boxing. I want to talk about your the comedy. I want to talk about um, how you came up with doing the skits the way you do, how you, and, and what, cause you've driven the numbers up. Uh, you got over how many subscribers on YouTube? 320,000. 320,000. Yeah. And then uh, also, uh, just how do you, like, the, I know the people change. The girls that do the skits with you, the guys that do the skits yeah. with you. People change. Is this relationship driven? I'm just trying to understand and how. And where did the sense of humor come yeah, from? Well, yeah, just give, it, give us the spill, man. Um, give it up. Like how I got into it. Yeah, like how you got into it, and then we'll go into the I other I started stuff. out doing music videos for people. Like, Everybody okay. so always started that, music videos. I started doing music videos for people. So I would do music videos for uh, Corey Shores, R.I.P. Corey Shores. Man, and his brothers just was on here. We yeah. gave him an award. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. I, so I would do people, uh, videos for him, uh, Trap Boy Freddie. Trap Boy. Shout uh, out Trap Boy Freddie. You uh, need to come on the show, man. Stop playing. Uh, just different people like that in my neighborhood. You know? Like, yeah. So by this time, I moved from uh, the Overton side to Woodtown. So okay. now I've been in Woodtown for some, some plus years. I went to high school at Carter. So I'm always in a long relationship. Like mm -hmm. I'm always in a long, long relationship. What does? How does she feel about all the like skits it. and like the females? Like and Even stuff. my ex before that didn't like it. Yeah, Nobody. But what about when the it. checks come in? I say that all the time. I say, you're but it's of, acting. You know, That's what I like. It's acting. She's like, but you got the power to write what you want to write, and this is what you choose to write. That's what they always say. Like, this is what you <laughs> but then at the same time, we've we've interviewed a couple of comedians, and they they'll say, well, sometimes they try to drift from what they're currently doing to please that person, to please that person, or to please just to be different. But they're like, the crowd doesn't they like don't it. Don't like it. They don't like no, it. They, they don't like so it. So it's what they like is what you put out. Man, oh my god. So I I tried to like steer away from what I was doing to do something different. I promise you, I got like I got three hundred thousand subscribers. I got like. 2,000 views on this video. <laughs> they were like, no. Nah, what the fuck is this doing? You not here. What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, damn. I, like, it's no way you got, I could go live and get 2,000 right. views. Right. Hey, yo, what up? It's Marvelous Jarvis. We at Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Make sure y'all check out my interview and it's going down. Marvelous TV. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.